What's up guys, thanks for coming back to the channel, Freedom Reviews. Uh, we're here today to do another review on a, another firearm. Uh, this is a Sig Sauer uh, P365 with manual safety. Um, as some of you guys know, I'm a big fan of Sig. Uh, I do have a couple other their firearms. Um, this gun is a little bit controversial, but we're gonna talk a little bit about that. Um, so let's go ahead and get right into it. It does come in this very fancy lockable um, box for storage or for carrying it. Um, once you open up the package, uh, this is basically what you get. So the, the firearm does come with two 10 round magazines. Uh, I did say 10 round magazines. Uh, that was not a, that was not a, a blip. Um, and we'll talk about that in a minute, but, um, so you do get your, um, two magazines. This one has the, uh, standard, uh, standard bottom magazine with the SIG logo on the bottom. Um, as you can see, uh, it is empty. So, um, this one also, uh, this one just has the pinky uh, extension at the bottom. Uh, but both magazines do carry 10 rounds. Uh, get rid of some of this. And um, then you also get your instruction manual. Um, a lot of great information in these things. Uh, it talks a lot about your warranty information, tells you all the pieces of the firearm, uh, what they are, what they do, how to clean it, uh, how to load it. So if, if you're new to firearms, even if you're not new to firearms, maybe you're new to SIG, maybe um, you're new to uh, handguns. Um, this is a great, it, it just gives you a lot of great information to, to make you prepared to be able to handle um, your particular model. Um, but again, this is the P365 with manual safety. Um, I'll show you that right now. So you do have um, the manual safety on both sides. So the safety is ambidextrous. I know a lot of people watching the channel now, um, maybe seen other videos, are very much against the manual safety. I personally, it was a personal preference and that's what made me purchase this particular firearm. Uh, I do plan on carrying this firearm, so I did want the added uh, security of the manual safety. Um, again, it is ambidextrous, so it's accessible from either side, which is great. Um, but overall, uh, it's just a tiny package. Um, also, behind the foam, you do get your your, your lock. So uh, it, it, it's, a, it's what intrigued me the most about this firearm in particular is, is really its pure size. Um, six inches long, about an inch thick. Uh, 18 ounces, I believe it weighs, maybe a little bit more than that. It's just an incredibly well put together concealed carry firearm. Uh, if you're going to conceal um, or just carry in general, um, even open carry, you know, one of the things I look for is um, number one, the thing that intrigued me about this firearm right off the jump was the 10 rounds. Um, being able to carry 10 full rounds, uh, 10 in the magazine, uh, one in the chamber for really a total of 11 rounds. Uh, being able to carry 11 rounds in a, in a very small compact firearm um, to me was was a no-brainer I, I immediately excited got excited about it um, and and right away decided I wanted to look into it um, once I purchased it um, I haven't been disappointed so far um, again I haven't got to fire the gun yet that will come very soon hopefully uh, but just overall the feel of it it's very comfortable to hold um, it feels good in your hand um, it does come with night sights. These are probably the best sights I have ever seen on any kind of stock, I should say stock sights on any kind of out of the box gun. Um, you know, the green glowing dot up front is very easy to, is very easy to sight in. Um, the rear dots actually glow in the dark. So, I mean, it really has night sights, which is great. Um, overall, just, I think so far it's been, it's been a joy to hold and, and feel. Again, it's very lightweight. Um, and, and very, very compact. Manual safety um, is comfortable. It's in a comfortable area. I think all of your controls are very, very, very sleek and to the, to the side of the gun. They're very, none of them really stick out or protrude. So it, it's just very comfortable um, all around to hold and, and to have. Um, again, with the pinky extension, it gives you that added, um, the ability to, to really add your, your whole hand onto the firearm. Um, and again, size-wise, guys, this thing is, is just really, really small. Um, it, 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 just to give you a little bit of a comparison, um, I brought some friends along with me. Um, so you have your P365. Um, and then I also have, uh, this here is a um, PT111 or G2C from Taurus. Um, as you can see, I mean, and this is a, a fairly small gun itself, um, but I mean, just size-wise, um, to give you an idea, I mean, it's not even really a comparison. Um, you can see it's 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 much shorter. It's also not as wide. Um, it's not nearly as tall. So I mean, overall, as a package, um, 
it's much smaller um, than the Taurus. And then I, I brought uh, my P320 um, by SIG. It's kind of like it's older, much larger step stepbrother. But um, yeah, I mean, it, it, you can see it, it's really just a very, 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 very small firearm, very compact. Um, great sights. I, I do like, again, I think that the selling point for me was the 10 rounds. Um, I think being able to to carry 10 rounds, 11 rounds really, if you want to get technical, um, to be able to have 11 rounds is is, uh, is really great. Um, the takedown um, key on the side uh, is awesome. It, it makes it very easy to take this gun apart. You don't need a special key or anything like that. Um, I have already uh, broke this thing down and cleaned it um, because it does come extremely overly oiled from the factory when you get them. So I did break it down and cleaned it and, uh, and took care of it. But I mean, all in all, I, I think it's a great package. Um, once I get to fire some rounds through it, I'll be able to do a follow-up review on it. Um, but again, if you're looking for a very, very, very compact uh, concealed carry firearm or, or just, you know, if it's something, if size matters um, and you're looking for, the, for a small compact uh, model this thing um I, I did have the joy of carrying it on me um for about a day and, and you don't feel it you don't really it's not inconvenient um it just feels good it feels good to have in your hand it feels good to carry on you um it'll fit you know for for the women out there it'll fit in your purse um i mean it is it is very very compact very very small and uh and, and nice and, and it feels nice in your hands and sig does normally make a pretty great product i know there has been some controversy of some problems people have had with these after firing, um, you know, a thousand rounds, 800 rounds. And um, I'll get to that point and, and I'll do a follow-up review if need be regarding it. But I mean, I just want to do a quick unboxing and just first first thoughts. Um, I have heard all the all the skeptics and, and everything. But again, when you look at something that you can carry on you that is this, this small, it also carries 10 rounds. Uh, to me, I, it was something I had to have and, and just see um, what it was all about. So um, obviously more to come down the road, but... I mean, first thoughts, it, it feels great. Um, balance of weight is good. Uh, mag release works exceptionally well. My hand doesn't get in the way. Uh, magazine release works well. Um, slide lock works really well. Um, again, it's, it's not in the way. Um, you know, the manual safety is in a good spot. Ambidextrous to both sides. It has a serrate, uh, serrates in the front um, or in the back. So either way, whichever way you want to go. The, the grip feels really, really nice. Um, it's not overly done where I feel like if I fire this gun a lot, it's not going to hurt my hand in any way or, you know, just get uncomfortable to hold. Um, it is nice. Uh, you can really get your hand right up, right up underneath there, which is great. Um, all in all, like I said, it feels good. Uh, it's a really, really good looking firearm and, and very, very small. So uh, if you have any questions, comments, by, by all means, drop them below in the comment section. Uh, if you like what you see and you're looking for more reviews, um, by all means, give me a thumbs up, give me a like. You can check us out on Facebook at Freedom Reviews um, with a Z. And uh, thanks for joining us. We'll, uh, we'll be back soon with another one.